So FYI, I'm not a cocksmith. I don't know how to make cocktails, but I'm gonna do my best. Aloha folks, welcome back to Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. Uh, I have a special guest for you today, and uh, I'd like to bring him up. Ladies and gentlemen, please let me welcome the King of Anaheim, McBiff. Ah. <laughs> that was me. Uh, this is McBiff, everybody. Dave, uh, Dave, Dave McBiff? What? McBiff. All right. Uh, why do they call you the King of Anaheim? Because uh, I rule Disneyland, apparently. Like, people really call you that. Nobody's ever called me the King of Anaheim. You're the first one. Oh, and then why'd you say that people call you that? Because you said that. I went with it. That's fair. So what's with the shirts here? Aren't these stupid? What kind <laughs> of person puts their name all over a shirt? These shirts were designed by McBiff and put out by Stone Brewings. And I think they're still available, right? Nope, they're sold out. Oh, they're not gonna do a second round? Nope. Well, you know what? There's a chance if Tiki Oasis happens, they might make a small run for that. But we're waiting to find out if Tiki Oasis happens. What else have you designed for Stone Brewing? I did last year's Tiki Escape pack and it did so well that they let me do whatever I wanted this year. Yeah. And we did the shirt the right way. Uh -huh. Not that last year's shirt wasn't, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> last year's shirt was very nice. It was very modern. Yeah, but it was, you know, surf sizes. So an extra large was like a small. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the reason that we're making the cocktail tonight and bringing up the Anaheim connection and everything is because he also works with Disneyland. I do. Or the Disney Corporation, I guess you'd say. Yeah. Both. Mostly Wonderground Gallery in downtown Disney. Club 33, if you know, anybody's heard of that one. He's a hell of a painter. <laughs> All right. This cocktail was invented by Beach Bum Berry in 1999. It's a fairly modern cocktail, but the Mihana is actually Anaheim spelled backwards. And so the Disney connection, McBiff, that's why we're doing this. Glad to be here. The Mihana has, uh, let's see, the ingredients are uh, orange juice. Can you show them an orange? Orange juice. Limes! Lime juice? Well, so oh yeah, pineapple. Pineapple juice. Let's see if you can say it. Grand Marnier. Grand, Grand... Grand Marnier. Grand Marnier. <laughs> Bacardi 8. And, okay, so I did some research on coconut rums. This is not the best coconut rum, but it is the coconut rum that I had at my house from a party from several years ago. I'm not about to go buy more coconut rum because I never, ever use this stuff. So tonight we are using Bacardi, we are using Malibu. Bacardi Malibu. Malibu Caribbean rum. Coconut flavor. Let's make the cocktail. All right, do we need glasses? Not yet. Oh. Um, we need to... Orange? Did you yep. glad I have an orange? We don't have a knife. It's not my fault. All right. <laughs> Let me keep you entertained while he gets a knife, folks. So you can't make a cocktail unless you have a knife. Wait, you want to bring a knife to a cocktail fight. So the great thing about this cocktail is that all the proportions are the same. It's super simple. As long as you know what goes in it, you can make the cocktail. And we just need one ounce of everything. All right. So why don't you uh, go ahead and cut the first orange here. With the plastic knife. Careful, that thing's shockingly sharp. Is it really? It sure is. Dang. Do I just cut it down the middle? Yep. Perfect. Because that's what I'm doing anyway. And then the orange, uh, the orange one here is for orange squeezing. Because it's orange. How are you going to get that big old thing in there? So what you do is you put it face down. Yep, just like that. <laughs> so you kind of get it to fit there and then squeeze a Rama. All right. And that's one ounce. And there is two ounces right there. All You're right. so strong. Thank you. So you can go ahead and pour that into the glass there. I'm like a Barker's Beauty. Lime juice. Go ahead and cut a cut lime. Cut lime. Hat. Usually you can get about an ounce of lime juice from a lime. Do we use this for the lime? Yeah, yeah, and go ahead and right into there. Okay, you don't want to kill it though. It's not quite an ounce. So uh, let's do the other half then. If you squeeze if you squeeze it too hard, then you start getting the bittery oh. well, that makes sense. flavor. Good to know. If we got to use more than one lime, then, uh, then that's what we got to do. Did you take these from your tree? No, I had to buy these that my tree's not in season yet. All right, I think we're gonna have to cut some more. I think it's kind of early season for limes right now. Do you know when limes come into season? No. May. Do they really? Yes. All right, so we're at like three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. It's like spraying me in the eye. Are you are you doing this right? I don't oh, know. we'll see. <laughs> so did you see how it all poured out when you squeezed it? Like when you were over here? No. 
Okay. Well, so when I had the juice facing down, and that's how you squeeze it. That right? is how you squeeze it. But when you squeeze it, then you can also kind of turn the thing over, and then maybe more juice will pour into it from that gets caught up top. I told you, I'm not a cocksmith. <laughs> that's not the right word. There you go. Look at how smart you are. All right, we need more limes. All right, limes. So are you telling me you want to do the squeezing from now on? I think things will go much quicker. If there I... you go. Okay. You're very, you're very big and very strong. <clears throat> But this, no, is a, I am. this is a technique thing, I think. <laughs> Squeezing <laughs> limes is a technique. Yeah, yeah, apparently. I just smashed it. I didn't turn it like a pro. Here. <laughs> Last one. It's taken us three limes to get to two ounces. This is why I don't make cocktails. I know. It's a real pain in the ass. Isn't I love it? watching people do it, but doing it myself. For suckers, huh? Yeah. All right, you want to take put, my ten dollars. You want to put that into your uh, into the orange juice there? I do. Very nice. Okay. We do need uh, pineapple juice now. I'm good at this one. Wait, wait. We gotta shake it first. Probably plenty. You think? Yeah. All right. Two ounces. Two ounces. That's one ounce. It's up to two. Oh, those are two's two up top line. Keep going. Over here. Why do they put more than one? There you go. That's too That's good enough. All right, pineapple juice. Okay, let's get on to the rum now. So the other three ingredients are the Grand Marnier, the Bacardi 8, and uh, this Malibu. Malibu coconut rum. Yeah. Let's start start with the Grand Marnier. Okay, so that's the two right there. Yeah. Well, you need more than what it calls for. No, 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 no. With tiki cocktails, <laughs> you want to be like super precise. Okay. Otherwise, your drinks end up tasting not Hear that glug? Glug, 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 glug. There is two. Hmm. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bacardi 8. All right. I love that it has a cork. It smells like sweet rum to me. Am I wrong? I don't know. I'm not a rum connoisseur. Yeah, you are. I'm really not. Dude, you all you do is drink rum. Doesn't mean I'm a connoisseur. It just means that I drink a lot of rum. All right. And now the uh, most forbidden of the, the, the tiki rums. The plastic bottle. It's the coconut <laughs> rum, yeah. That's the stuff you can only get at state. What, what does that smell like? <laughs> oh. Can I smell that? Mm. Suntan lotion? Yes, perfect. I was like, what is that? That's suntan lotion. It smells like Newport Beach. All right, so there's the cocktail right there. Oh, shit, see, look how great that cap is. You ruined the bottle. I didn't ruin it. Malibu ruined it. Okay, I gotta go. have ice in the ice bucket? I literally have to go get ice now. Yep. I'm glad we're prepared. Have you seen these? I'm not a spokesman for this glass or anything, but it's pretty cool. Rum genie? Who puts a genie on the glass? Not I. Rub the genie. Back with the ice. And we're using Sonic Ice. So it's uh, pebble ice sized and uh, pre-crushed and the whole deal. So perfect for tiki stuff. We're gonna fill a tin with ice. Is there a certain way that you need to shake it? There is a, you know, to make it taste better? There is a certain way to shake it. And some of my bartender friends in the past have hassled me about the way that I shake Cocktail, or I used to shake cocktails. Really? They've given you crap about how you shake it? Yep. Like, okay, well, I gotta hear all about this. Well, I mean, that was the whole story. All right, so this is gonna go into here. That's a fat cocktail. Is that for two or for one glass? This is for both of us. Okay, so it's a double. This is a double, yeah. All right. Okay, and uh, what we're gonna do is here, take this thing, put it down on top there. Yep. Ooh. Don't know if that thing wants to be a double, but... And then just give it a little little smack on the top. Okay, there is some juice that is trying to escape. So the way that you want to shake a cocktail <laughs> is... Look at that. Like you're, <laughs> like you're throwing it, is what I had always been taught. So is it supposed to get all over your shirt like that? No. no. Kind of like... Like so, a disc. So like shake a, it like a disc. So like a hand on top. And then... I felt like I was doing it right the whole time. <laughs> Like that. You gotta look at the camera weird to do it. Mm -hmm. All right, and then you just give it a little whack. See, 
I don't understand. How do you not break the glass doing that? Because <clears throat> you're hitting the tin. So, glass is inside of it. Okay, so we're gonna be using your your uh, your brand new Rum Genie glassware. Oh, those are mine. They are yours. Let's see that Smells cool like decanter. It. Smell that. What does that smell like? What do you smell? Hmm. I smell Don the Beachcombers when it opened. Hmm. I Seriously. smell uh, I smell coconut. Well, that too. Okay. Whoop! Big piece. <clears throat> so tiki cocktails, you want to have. The drinks filled, filled, filled with ice. So if you come out short after uh, shaking it, then just fill it with some more extra ice. So I try to do these cocktails as close to the way that Jeff Barry prescribes them to be made. He says use the Mihana Tiki mug or use a tall glass. We're not doing really either of those. So we're gonna use a cool glass. We're using a, a cool uh, McBiff glass. But I had an idea, and this is the way that they serve it, I think, at the Blind Rabbit in Anaheim, which is also, mm -hmm. makes sense. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, uh, these smaller oranges, and we're just gonna slice them through the middle twice, or I guess three times, and then once, once down the side of these things here. Okay, Put on the glass. go ahead and do that. Oh, I gotta do it too. <clears throat> yeah, don't cut your finger off, you need that for painting. Not my left hand. Am I doing it right? I guess. Totally not, but okay. who cares? And then give those things a slit. Just whoop, slit. Two, there you go. All right. And then the way that they do it at the Blind Rabbit is like this. Aw. Get it? It's like a hidden Mickey. All right. Let's hook up my homie here. Mickey's been real good to me. Oh, yeah. You got your straw? My floor straw. Hmm. <laughs> That was a good little, hmm. Yeah. All right, cheers. Sláinte. Uh-huh. You know what? Huh, that's pretty good. That is good. That's, um, hang on a sec. And the people that know me know I'm not a big fan of tiki drinks. I love how they're made. I love watching it. I love tiki bars to death. I'm just, uh, I'm a whiskey guy. There's a lot of coconut, but you can also taste the lime, right? Oh yeah, definitely. And then, um, it's kind of bitter, but it's good. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I think that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in, folks. I want to thank my guest, Mick Biff, for, uh, for entertaining us all. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next cocktail video. Aloha. These are good, I like these. I guess that's about it then, huh? I still got my whole drink. So the thing about these glasses is, it comes with its own rum genie. Well, what does that, like what does that do? You gotta rub rum genie. And then what happens? It magically fills your glass with booze. Dude, how did that happen? Dude, rum genie. Let's do that again. We're gonna have to do that a few times. Yeah. How did that fill back up? <laughs> Don't f around, Spike. <laughs> Come on, that was good. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting the look around thing. <laughs> Wait, how did that happen? How did it fill back up? Rum genie. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right, we all gotta keep it together here. <laughs> this is why I do this by myself. I can't work under these conditions. Go ahead, do it. <sighs> <laughs> Wait, how did that fill back up? <laughs> Seriously, how did that fill back up? Rum genie. Rum genie. Rum genie. Glasses available from Macbeth. Two for thirty. <laughs> Two for thirty bucks. <laughs>